Hello everyone and welcome from Team Fortinet here at Ingram Micro. My name is Michael Weary. I am your NSC7 Certified Technical Account Manager. Here to bring you another chapter in the story of the Lonely Fortigate, this one being Part 3, The Corrupt Device. Before we get to that, we have to answer though, what is a device on a network? So this is my brief list. Obviously there's a whole ton of things that could go in here. Basically everything is connected to the internet these days. But these are the things I thought of offhand in a general corporate environment. You've got your things clients are using, like laptops or desktops. They're probably corporate. You've got phones. They could be corporate. They could be personal BYOD tablets, wireless access points. You've got your storage, your printers, your cameras, uh, smart smart office, smart house devices, such as you know thermostats, door sensors, lights, even things down to coffee makers, or famously there was a ransomware attack related to an internet-connected fish pump, of all things. Um, those are all devices that could be on a network. There's also devices within devices on a network. So let's just take a look at that laptop and desktop thing for a minute. We could have uh, human interface devices on there, you know, your uh, keyboards and mice and things like that. There were attacks that could be done via the hubs connecting those to a uh, desktop or a laptop. Could be network interfaces, right? If we got a, a computer that's connected via wireless and via wired Ethernet port at the same time, there's a, uh, multiple ways of access there. Could be removable media, the corrupted flash drive that gets plugged into a laptop, for example, or even just remote access, uh, meaning both, you know, remote access you mean to do and remote access you don't mean to do. Uh, either if you're coming through VPN, you're introducing your environment through your device onto a network, or someone getting into your environment remotely who you don't want to be there, like, like a, a Trojan or something. Now, those devices, let's say one goes bad, what can a bad device do in a network? So here are some possible actions. Once again, this isn't an encyclical list. This is just what I made up off the top of my head. Uh, bad, bad actions of a bad device, of course, we could just be infected. That's generally a bad thing on its own. Uh, it could infect other devices or allow access into a network, you know, like a pivot point for an infection. Uh, it could exfiltrate things, take information out of a network. Uh, it could, uh, conversely, I guess it could put information into a network too. Uh, it could ransom a network, encrypt it, otherwise lock people out of it. It could waste time and energy. It could just be, you know, something that uh, generates clicks in the backgrounds or you know crypto miner or something like that or it could just plain be destruction like a wiper that just goes from device to device to device uh, erasing anything that's on there the third question we have to ask then is how do we stop these bad devices uh, there's really three ways three categories i think we could break us all down into and that would be uh, controlling Devices on a network, device control, meaning this is the only things a device can do when it's on here. Network access control, saying these are the only ways a device can get on the network related to zero trust network access, where we're saying uh, this is the only access you get when you come on based on these criteria. And of course, the behavioral based access control, where we say you're going to be on the internet able to do this, or on our home network or our work network able to do this until you start to misbehave. And once you start to misbehave, we're going to change your access procedures. Uh, you know, according to how, what you're doing now. Uh, we're going to talk in a second about the Lonely Fortigate, but I do have to say it's kind of going to be an orchestra or family creation between the uh, Fortinet devices in this one. It's going to be part of the Fortinet security fabric. We're going to talk about an automation in here. I'm going to refer to something that actually is an automation on the back end. Between the Fortigate, which is seeing everything that's getting on the network, uh, the Ford Analyzer, which is getting the information from the Ford again and what's on the network, and the Ford Client, which is also giving endpoint information to the Ford Analyzer and the Ford Gate for the whole thing to take actions. Uh, just keep that in mind that, you know, I didn't, I, if I put in little stop action guys for all that, it's going to get very confusing in a hurry. Uh, keep that in mind as you go forward, though, because in a home office, not too far away from here. Whew, I'm glad that threat's taken care of. Hold on a second, I think I feel something else trying to get on the network. Hey. Are you a removable device that got on one of my clients? Well, yes. Yes, I am, but I'm perfectly harmless. I don't think you are. In fact, I think I'm going to have to quarantine the device that you're on, because you look mighty nasty, fella. But I wanted to get on and infect your server. Uh, uh, oh. Ford, a client told me you were bad. Now get out of here, Mr. Batty. Ha, 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 ha. Thanks for watching. Any questions, feel free to contact myself or my compatriot Garrett. Our email addresses are on there as well as my work phone number. Everybody, uh, happy holidays. Have yourself a good day.